Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode we ventured deeper into the Pulse Pal Sea and we met up with Sarah, Lightning's sister and Snow's fiance. After meeting up with her and the sad scene occurred, we decided to meet the Foul Sea, which is the controller of the Vestige and make him answer a couple questions we have in mind. So before we go ahead and meet up with him, let me just prepare you guys for the battle that's coming. Uh, you should check out my equipment for lightning. I have the Gladius weapon and the power wristband equipped. For snow, I have the power circle and the iron bangle equipped. And for Saz, I have the Vegas 42 and the iron bangle. Now before you meet up with this guy, right as you enter the hallway, I suggest to uh, press L1 or LB on the Xbox and use one of your Fortizals, which is a shroud that casts bravery, faith, and haste at the start of battle. Go ahead and use that so you can get an advantage and meet up with Snow and, Sna and Saz. So this is the Foul Sea. Sarah's a crystal now. You gave her a focus, and she did it. You got what you want. Now let her go! Please. Turn her back! I'll be your Lissi instead! Fine. You go on begging. Like this thing gives a damn what we want! Lightning! It's this thing's fault the purge started. And it's people who are dying. Sarah told us to save Cocoon. That means this thing needs to die. Think you can kill a Falci? I'm doing this for Sarah. Dodge. I'm in. As long as you don't mind an amateur. I got these things. Might as well use them. Thanks. Alright, so at the start of the battle, you can press the R1 or right bumper and look at the enemy. And right now you can't see his HP because you need to attack him a few times to get an estimate of his HP. But more importantly, if you press R1 or right bumper, you can see that the boss has three targets. His main target, which is Anima, the right manipulator and the left manipulator. Now as soon as you kill Anima, his main form, the battle's over. However, his right and left manipulator provide support 
and taking them out first will cause him to waste about 30 seconds to a minute in regenerating the left and right manipulator. That gives you ample time to hack away at his HP. So as long as you use the Fortisol at the start of battle, you should have haste, brave, and other magical enhancements to allow you to shred this boss to pieces. So at the start of the battle, go ahead and take out the right manipulator and then the left manipulator. This will cause it to do his attack, initiating regeneration. Right now, he is temporarily immobile. So you can sit there and pound on him, lowering his HP dramatically. Once he regenerates his right and left manipulator, go ahead and take him out again. Also, don't neglect healing with potions, because this boss does massive amount of damage with each attack. So if you don't heal with potions properly, you could game over. Once the right and left manipulators are dead, you can attack him a second time to finish him off. And once you take out his main form, the battle's over. For winning, you get a doctor's code, which improves the effects of potions. close my eyes and lose myself in happier days. Alright, so after the battle you'll be prompted to save your game. And a short scene will play.
Ooh. What a great spot to watch from. <sighs> the whole game's here tonight. How'd that happen? Don't know, Destiny? More like dumb luck. Let's go find him. <laughs> oh, excuse me. See you around. You know. No, but I want to. <laughs> Just missed her. She said she'd be at the usual place. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Sorry about that. Now, who'd you say you were looking for? <laughs> Here goes. Making a wish? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was. I was hoping that tomorrow I can tell my sister. Mm. She'll be so mad, knowing I hid it from her. Yeah, don't worry. I'll take the blame for you. You know, you should ask for something bigger. These are wish-granting fireworks, like in the stories. Stories, huh? We'll see who fulfill their focus. They become crystal and gain eternal life. <sighs> Would help if they gave you some clue about what you're supposed to do. <sighs> we'll figure this thing out. You will never be one of those monsters. <sighs> so what will I be? A crystal? <laughs> Yesterday at the store, I got us something. <laughs> I don't know much about jewelry, but I hope you like it. Stand by you. No matter what happens, I'm yours forever. Sarah. My one, my only. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> she said yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love these fireworks. They granted my wish. Your wish? Before I asked you to marry me, I wished that you would say yes. Then maybe they'll grant mine too. What's that? To have the courage to tell Lightning that I've become a lassie. Hey, our engagement is way bigger news. Man, I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> She'll be my new sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Close.
close. <laughs> Gorgeous. Our own private heaven. All we need. Just you and me. You snow. All right, so after the scene, you'll get another prompt to save your game. This must be Lake Brescia. Well, I guess we fell from up there, and the lake turned to crystal. Help me out here. I mean, did the foul sea do this? How in the world did we end up here? How should I know? Uh, we're alive. How? Sarah. No one survives a fall from that high, not without a miracle. Sarah saved us! Sarah, listen. It's all your fault. She got... Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Watch out! Why did I... This do? You used magic. Uh, uh. You used the power of the sea. The foul sea cursed us. We're the sea now! Great. Alright, so after the scene, you'll be thrown into an event battle in the Paradigm. Up here. Now, this is another very, very important tutorial as it explains your, uh, your new battle system for Final Fantasy 13. So at any time, press the left bumper to switch between different roles. Each role provides a specific support in battle. So this is key to surviving some battles. Go ahead and wipe out the enemies. So we really are, Lissy. Uh. Oh, looks like it. You too? 
Yep. Right here. Okay. Let's see to the last. <sighs> Why me? I don't even know you! Will you have to go and attack that thing? <sighs> Just leave me alone! It's your fault. It's your fault, my... You could have. All of this is your and Sarah's fault! Watch it! <sighs> Sorry. Everything is gonna be alright. You'll see. Come on! Off we go! Alright. <clears throat> now it's time to actually get some stuff moving. Let's see, huh? Yep. We're all playing for Team Pulse now. All right, so after the battle, you'll be in Lake Brescia, which was a huge lake beneath Cocoon, but has now turned to crystal because of the foul sea. Go ahead and continue down the path. Okay. If we don't know our focus, how do we complete it? I think... I saw it. Saw what? That is how a focus comes down, people. The Fauci, they don't spell it out with clear-cut instructions. All you get is a hazy glimpse. Mm hmm Well, you know, that's what they say. You know, legends and all. Mm -hmm. Legends. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see anything? I, uh, I just, it's all kind of foggy, but I saw this big, I mean, towering. What, what, wait a minute. Hold on now. Do we all have the same dream? Ragnarok. Ragnarok. So, we all saw the same dream. We all heard that same voice. Mm -hmm. You mean that was our focus? But how are we supposed to know what to do from that? Mm -hmm. That's the tricky part. The dream's the only hint the Falsi gives us. Figuring out what to do with it, that's our job. Okay, okay. We're pulseless -y, right? Enemies of Cocoon. So... Does that mean that our focus is... Are we supposed to... Save her. Say what? Our focus is to protect Cocoon. Really? Okay. And why's that? Sarah told us. Let's do it. We're all in this together. I'm gonna look for Sarah. She ought to be nearby. Uh, I'll come too! Wait! Jeez. That boy can't stay still. Really? All right, after the scene, you'll get another tutorial on the Crystarium. Right, so I, I want to quickly way update you guys worry about everything else later. with a brief explanation on what's going on. Uh, we now have access to para paradigms. Uh, you can press Y or triangle to bring up your menu. And here 
you can adjust roles and create custom party paradigms. Now what paradigms are, are they are specific roles for each character. And not all characters can learn each role until later in the game. For now, each character has three primary roles assigned to them. You have Commando, Ravenger, Sentinel, Medic, Sabotar, and Synergist. So it's very important to note paradigms. You can change these at any time at the main menu and customize each character's paradigm and role in combat. So I'll give you a quick explanation. A Commando is pretty much an attacker that deals offensive damage with melee weapons. Ravengers are attackers that deal offensive magic with magic. Sentinels are bodyguards that absorb damage. They're pretty much the defenders. Medics heal your party members and use support magic in order to cure and prevent status ailments. Synergists which you can't see right now, but synergists pretty much buff your characters up with like haste, uh, protect, shell, stuff like that in order to give you positive status effects that help you out in battle. And sabotars, pretty much like the name implies, sabotage the enemy. It casts debuffs on the enemy such as uh, deprotect, which allows you to, which al allows you to inflict more damage by lowering the enemy's defense. So now that you know what each uh, paradigm role does, you can experiment by uh, customizing your paradigms from the main menu, such as this, Ravenger, Ravenger, Ravenger. And it uh, shows you the paradigm name over to the left. You can experiment by doing this at any time from the main menu. Also, you can press the X button or square on PlayStation to select the Actum Paradigm, which means this will be the role that starts off at the beginning of battle. So I'll go more into detail later on, but for now all you need to know is the basics. You can use Generate to uh, generate random party paradigms, Delete to delete existing paradigms, and also you have the battle team which you can't currently use yet but this will allow you to select battle team leader and mender and members next up we have Crystarium now this is new also that is very important to explain the Crystarium is how you level up your characters in Final Fantasy 13 now you don't have actual levels like in most Final Fantasies levels 1 through 99 Instead, it's more like Final Fantasy X. You go into the Crystarium and you choose which role you want, such as the ones that appear in Paradigm. You have the Commando, which I explained earlier. So for Lightning, you have the Commando. Go ahead and click on that under the Crystarium option. And here, you have the chance to spend your existing CP, which is short for Christium Points. Now you gain CP after each battle. Think of CP as experience. You spend your experience here to make your characters develop stronger. So as you advance down your Crystarium path, which you can only advance if you have CP, you gain stronger stats and certain abilities depending on which role you are trying to level up. So here we have Strength plus 4, which increases your Strength by 4. HP plus 20, which increases your HP by 20. Abilities, Life Siphon, and at the very top it will show you what each ability does. This recharges one ATB segment upon slaying target. You have Magic, you can upgrade your Magic, and so on and so forth. Now it's very important to upgrade your character's primary roles and don't just focus on one role. You want to upgrade whichever one you're going to be using for that character the most. So for Lightning we have Commando and Ravenger. For Snow we have the Commando, Ravenger and Sentinel. 
for Vanille, we have the Ravager and Medic. And so on and so forth. I don't want to get into each one because we'll be here all day. <clears throat> now, the next thing you need to take note of is from the main menu, you can see each character. Who is the battle members, which are highlighted. It'll say member at the top and leader, whoever's the leader who controls who you're controlling during battle. Further at the very top, it shows what role they are currently using. So for lightning, we have C-O-M, which is, which is short for commando. For snow, we have R-A-V, which is short for ravenger. And vanille, we have R-A-V, which is short for ravenger. You can change these at any time by selecting paradigms. So for now, let's go ahead and spend our Christogen points that we've developed all through chapter one. We have a total of 101 CP, and you can check how much CP you have at any time by accessing the main menu, and it is displayed right underneath HP. So as you can see, we have 300 HP, and below we have 101 CP. That means that we can spend 101 CP to develop our characters. Also, while developing your characters, you're going to want to take note of the CP cost for each ability. While in Christogen, if you're, let's start off with Lightning. So we want to proceed down the Crystarium stage. Everything that you already have learned is highlighted in the bright white. Now the abilities that you haven't learned are dark and dim. So we're going to proceed down the path of Commando first. Next up we have strength plus 4. Now in order to see how many points you need in order to obtain that stat, you look at the very bottom right. It'll say exactly what you're trying to get. Your Crystarium is stage 1, meaning that we're at the beginning of the Crystarium stage for Commando. The crystal that we're looking at, which is strength plus 4, it shows you the attribute, which is strength and how much it increases it which is plus four at the bottom right it'll show you the CP cost in order to learn that crystal so the CP cost is 60 and we have 101 so that means we have enough to learn strength plus four so simply hold down a and push the analog stick in the right direction and you will learn that ability now you have two different ways you can go now this is completely up to you I highly suggest to get each ability and crystal as you advance. Don't fly through Commando without getting the stuff on the side. So naturally we're going to branch off to the left here and learn HP plus 20 and then farther up and learn the Life Siphon ability before we continue to the right. By doing this you'll keep everything at a nice and steady pace without missing anything. I'm going to quickly show you guys how to advance on the Crystarium very quickly. Let's start off with the next guy, Snow. HP plus 70. Strength plus 18. Vanille. Strength plus 3. Saz. HP plus 30. And hope magic plus four now you can't really advance too far in the crystarium right now because we haven't learned that much CP however as you keep fighting battles that's why it's important to fight each and every battle that you fought that you come into because after each battle you gain crystarium points which will help you level up all right so now that I've explained pretty much everything uh, so that you guys understand the basics, it's time to proceed with the story. Now I'll go into more detail about Paradigms and the Crystarium whenever the time is relevant. Anyways, let's go ahead and move forward and the path will split in half. Go ahead and take the right path to reach the save point and save your game.
that's going to take care of this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. I'll see you guys next time where we continue through Lake Brescia.